Hey, this is Greg Young, and I'm just here to show you guys really quickly a little bit about my Moose and how the build system can actually work. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to pause the engine really quick. Now, I'm going to add in a line of code here. We'll do console.write foo. Now, I'm going to do a control shift B inside of Visual Studio. So, when I do my control shift B, give or take, about five seconds just to do my build. Um, we'll just do a second one here just so we've got a solid number. We can see that it was not a full build with changes that we're waiting. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to resume my engine. And when I resume my engine, now I'm just going to do a Control S to save. And you'll notice that ran in about one second. That not only did my builds, that also did my tests. This is important to remember because Mighty Moose does have an optimized build system inside of it, which oftentimes is far faster than Visual Studio. However, if you download Mighty Moose, we do not turn it on by default. By default, we will actually use the full solution build. And the reason that we use the full solution build is we want highest levels of compatibility possible. When you start going to a project build, there's sometimes some additional configuration that you need to do. And We'll take a look at that in another video.